My name is Mike Miga and I'm the director of the Biomedical Modeling Laboratory. The primary focus of the laboratory is to use uh, computational modeling in ways that allow us to uh, change the direction of therapy by integrating those models within the clinical workflow or within research workflows. So we build these kind of very cool uh, computational simulations and then we don't just do a predictive model and leave it at that. We actually try to take things from the operating room and then we integrate that data and let it drive the model, in other words fit the model to the patient and then the whole idea is that the prediction now is some uh, accurate representation of, of the therapeutic that's going on. For instance, a liver um, to help guide the surgeon in how to cut and resect a liver. Okay, so the problem with that is, is uh, prior to surgery, you take uh, preoperative images uh, in, in a configuration where the patient is lying down, and within a, for instance, a CT scanner or something like that. That presentation is very different in the operating room when they open the patient up. So now you have a, a map based on the CT imaging. And so when you open the patient up, that liver can change shape and the tumors can shift around and things can move, vessels can move around. So how do you correct for that if you're using the images to guide you? And so that's what we do. We, build, we would build a computer model that would represent the uh, mechanics of how that thing would deform, how that organ would deform, and then we would compensate for that within the operating room um, such that the surgeon now is guided more accurately. So that's what we do, right? We, we kind of inject these technologies and very, over time um, you start to see kind of new forms of, of intervention happen because of, because of the technologies that are developed.